Taking advantage of the tariff protection provided in the late 1870s by Sir John A. Macdonald's national policy, Ganong brothers James and Gilbert entered into a partnership with James Pickard of Callis, Maine to manufacture soap at a factory on Depot Street in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. In 1884, James Ganong became sole proprietor of what was then named the St. Croix Soap Manufacturing Company, while brother Gilbert continued in the family candy business. Local people saved household fat and delivered it to the lard rendering plant on the banks of the St. Croix for cash payment by the pound. The soap factory featured huge kettles for the caustic soda and tallow that were the main ingredients. When cooked, the molten soap was drawn off into large molds to harden before being cut into bars. The best known product was Surprise Laundry Soap, which, with its high lye content, promised to clean clothes the surprise way, without boiling or scalding. Edwin Ganong, who took over the works after his father's death in 1888, was a pioneer in advertising, employing large-scale mural advertisements, newspaper testimonials, and a wrapper redemption program. Customers collected multiple paper tokens printed on the soap wrapper that could be redeemed for items in a catalogue. Surprise Soap became a household name, and in 1913, the thriving company was sold to British giant Lever Brothers. Edwin Ganong moved to Toronto to become president of the new Lever Brothers Canada, while the St. Stephen plant continued to manufacture Surprise Soap. Two years after his death in 1944, however, the plant was closed. What had started as a protected Canadian enterprise and built a widely recognized brand had finally succumbed to the broader commercial forces of the day.